All right, what's going on, y'all? Broken Games HDR here, uh, coming at you again with another video. So, PlayStation has just announced their revamp of uh, PlayStation Plus, um, and it's pretty much, you know, as we thought it would be, and as it's been rumored for a while, it's a consolidation between PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Now. So it's a remodeling of it to group these two things together, essentially, right? So PlayStation Now is no longer uh, a standalone service when this launches, and this is going to launch in June, right? Now, just to get it out the way, uh, there's been a lot of rumblings this week uh, of big announcements and, and things like that. So apparently, not that I believe it, just putting it out there, this is apparently one of three big things major announcements that PlayStation is going to be making this week. And those three things apparently have nothing to do with each other. They're completely separate announcements. If you want to believe those rumors, that's completely, you know, that's completely up to you. Um, but right now in this video, we're going to talk about this uh, new PlayStation Plus subscription service with three tiers. So the first tier is PlayStation Plus Essential, right? And keep in mind, if you already have PlayStation Plus, there's nothing you need to do because PlayStation Plus will es essentially just become PlayStation Plus Essential and you will get uh, the benefits of PlayStation Plus Essential, Essential, which are simply, which are pretty much the same things um, as you were uh, getting before. Um, and it's the same pricing, so we'll just roll right over to it, right? So it's $9.99 a month. $24 quarter, quarterly and $59.99 a year. I don't know who pays for these things quarterly or or even monthly, but it's good to have those options. So PlayStation Plus Essential uh, provides the same benefits as PlayStation Plus members are getting today, such as two monthly downloadable games, ex exclusive discounts, uh, cloud storage, online multiplayer access, and there are no changes for existing PlayStation Plus members. So yeah, essentially the, the same thing that, that you've been getting, which is what I'm going to be staying at because as I've said, I don't care about this extra stuff that they offer in subscription service. Don't care. The only thing I pay for is to play online. And if there was an option not to do that, I wouldn't even do that, right? But we, we essentially have, have no choice. Uh, I mean, even PlayStation Plus, getting the two downloadable games, I couldn't tell you the last time I played a PlayStation Plus game. Couldn't tell. It was probably Fall Guys, and I played Fall Guys for I played like five games of Fall Guys. Um, so yeah, I really don't take advantage of any of this stuff because I don't care about it. Uh, PlayStation Plus Extra. That's the second tier. That's fourteen ninety nine a month, uh, forty dollars quarterly, and a hundred dollars yearly. Right. So this comes with uh, all the benefits in the previous tier, of course adds a catalog of up to 400 of the most enjoyable PS4 and PS5 games, uh, including blockbuster hits from the PlayStation Studios catalog and third-party partners. Uh, and games in the extra tier are downloadable uh, for, for play. So you can, um, games that you get from this tier, you can actually download them uh, to play. These are PS4 and PS5 games, right? Uh, next tier is... Uh, PlayStation Plus Premium. Gotta wonder also why they didn't just use the trophy system to name these things. Bronze, silver, gold, you know, whatever. Um, maybe, to, I don't know. I don't know why they didn't do that. Seemed, seemed logical. Uh, so PlayStation Plus Premium. This provides all the benefits from Essential and Extra, the two previous tiers. Adds up to 340 additional games, um, including PS3 games available via cloud streaming. Uh, a catalog of beloved classic games available in both streaming and download options from the original PlayStation, PS2, and PSP generations offers cloud streaming access for original PlayStation, PS2, PSP, and PS4 games offered in the extra and premium tiers uh, where PlayStation Now is available because, you know, these certain markets don't have everything or whatever. Uh, customers can stream games using PS4 and PS5 uh, consoles, all, all that stuff. Uh, and time-limited game trials will also be available, um, offered in this tier, so customers can try out games before they buy. The question I have about the game trials is, uh, 
what's the time going to be? Is it just going to be uh, the same time, you know, across the board uh, for all these games, the same amount of time to try them out? Um, are they going to be t time trials for n brand new games? Um, and will they come out? Will the will the time trials be av available like actually before the game comes out? Because, you know, they could just put these demos out, these time trials uh, out when the game comes out and you have to uh, essentially, you know, just try them and then buy them, you know, the, the game and the, the, the demo release at the same time. I don't I don't know what the, what they're going to do. So um, also some games that are going to be launching um, in the, uh, launching day one with this with these services, uh, Death Stranding, God of War, Marvel, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, uh, Spider-Man, the original and Miles Morales. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11 and Returnal. It's good that Returnal's in there. Um, so I'm gonna read uh, something that um, Jim Ryan said. But before that, the from someone who doesn't care about all this extra stuff, seems fine to me. Like I said, I'm just gonna be keep. I'm not gonna be upgrading or anything. I'm gonna keep my basic tier. But just looking, you know, for like, you know, from an outside looking in, from a fly on the wall who's not gonna get none of this stuff, seems fine to me. Seems to be a good offering, you know, for, for the price. I don't see any issues. The only issue that somebody pointed out to me is to play some of these older uh, play, uh, older generation PlayStation games. You have to, uh, you know, some of it is streaming. Some of it is, are some of them are downloadable, but some of them are streaming. That seems to be the biggest problem. And, uh, you know, because play, especially with PS3 games, PlayStation has, I guess, I don't know. They don't want to do the work with the emulator. Uh, there's like, you know, people on PC who uh, have that emulator, who are doing more with that emulator than PlayStation themselves. Either way, you know, I don't care about backwards compatibility and, you know, playing all these old PlayStation games. So that's why, like, it, it's hard for me to really, like, uh, critique this type of stuff. Because I'm like, I, bro, I don't, I don't care. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be playing no PSP or PS1 games. <laughs> insanity definitely not no p the the low the farthest i would ever go is ps4 there ain't no way i'm playing no no ps3 ps2 ps1 psp games no way it's not happening right so yeah so that's not for me to really analyze and and, and judge you know but like i said just an eyeball test it looks like a like a good offering all that for the premium tier which is what 120 120 a year for 120 a year i think that's good i, I think it's fine so, uh, you know, yeah. Uh, so Jim Ryan, because the big question a lot of people uh, asked, uh, well, a certain crowd uh, asked was about the games going day one. We already knew that wasn't going to happen. That's Xbox's approach. That's not PlayStation's approach for certain reasons. So here's what Jim Ryan said in regards to uh, PlayStation games going into services day one, which obviously they will not be doing. He said, in terms of putting our own game into this service or any of our services upon their release, as you may well know, this is not a road we've gone down in the past and this is not a road uh, we're going down now with, now with this new service. We feel if we were to uh, do that with the games we make at PlayStation Studios, we, we would be breaking uh, the cycle of how they work and how they do things. Uh, the level of investment that we need to make in our studios would not be possible. And we think the knock-on effect on the quality of games that we make would not be something that gamers want. So essentially doing that would compromise the, would pretty much compromise the way they, they make games, they develop them, and essentially, you know, how they release them. It's just not a feasible um, option for PlayStation, right? It's 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 different for for Microsoft and Xbox. Um, they have a, you know, they ha they have a whole different process and um, method with how they make games and how they release them. And uh, PlayStation is not doing that. And I think both work for both parties, right? I think one works a little bit better, you know, in in terms of uh, delivering quality on a consistent basis. But both are essentially working once again, right? I think because people have become enamored with spending 
essentially, you know, uh, less and getting everything that the bar is pretty much the bar of whether something is worth something is how how much can, you know what's the least amount i could pay for it that's it, and that's kind of weird like that's that's the bar of how people analyze something how, what's the least i can pay for it not saying that getting a good deal is a bad thing getting a bargain is a bad thing it's not but i don't think the you know the, the barometer the barometer and the measure of how we analyze if something's worth it or not is is you know the, is based on the bargain you got for it right so he's he's not doing that like i said i don't think that's you know the how, how you uh measure a, a service measure you know you know um any of these services or a company is based on what they're giving you free or low for for almost free because you know game pass isn't completely free either way i don't care i ain't really here for these these uh services or subscriptions i'm not here for these subscriptions i'm just here for the games the quality games and i just buy them outright you know with um day one whatever the price is if i want it i'm buying it day one whatever the price is um third party games might be a different story because as we know shadow warrior 3 did launch in playstation now just recently and even though shadow I, i've actually beaten that game it takes like three hours to beat it's just some you know it's a, it's a mindless unga bunga game that's definitely not a game that like oh man it's in playstation plus it's in playstation now who it's not adding to the service or anything it's literally a throwaway game but we might get some third party games day one, like, you know, of the caliber of Shadow Warrior 3. So those are my thoughts on it. Um, like I said, uh, to me, from looking out, looking from the outside in, the service is okay. The, the pricing, all that stuff. I don't have a problem with it. Let me know what, let me know what y'all think. It's launching in June. I'm, I'm more concerned about, you know, if it's true about these other announcements that may be coming out uh, later this week. So... Uh, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, uh, uh, follow me on Twitter if you're not, links in the description for, for everything else, hit the, you know, all that good stuff. I'll catch y'all on the next video, alright? I'm out of here. Peace.